what is the personal needs allowance and how does it differ in a nursing home context versus the personal needs allowance in an assisted living facility context? And we get this question every once in a while. And fundamentally, what you need to understand is that Medicaid is not one thing. In a long-term care context, you're generally talking about two different Medicaid programs. So in a nursing home context, you're applying for what's known as ICP or the Institutional Care Medicaid for Florida. It's only in a nursing home, skilled nursing facility, rehab facility sort of context. The deal with Medicaid in that program is they get all of your income less $130. That's what they call the personal needs allowance. It's $130. The idea is that if you're in a nursing facility, all your needs are taken care of and they leave you only this $130 to pay for toiletries and little odds and ends and gizmos and things like that. Just a little bit of something to, to, to buy little, little toiletries or small luxuries. And that's it. And with nursing facilities costing between typically nine and $12,000 a month, uh, the fact that they only take your income and let you keep the $130 that Medicaid pays the difference is still a pretty good deal. Now in an assisted living facility, you're not applying to ICP Medicaid. You're in fact applying for what's known as the Medicaid Waiver Program or Home and Community-Based Services Medicaid. This is a different program, right? ICP, there's no wait list. They take your income, the facility gets your income, and then Medicaid pays the difference. In an assisted living facility, you have to go through a waitlist process. That's part of our service. We coach people through the waitlist process to get them the highest priority score possible. And then once they are approved for the program, Medicaid will pay for typically about $1,400 toward the medical portion of an assisted living facility. So you keep all of your income. So the personal needs allowance or the PNA is irrelevant because you keep all of your income and it's likely going to go to this facility and Medicaid is going to attribute just that extra bit, $1,300, $1,400, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. It depends on what the medical portion of the ALF bill is. So I hope that clears up. The, the confusion, the personal needs allowance is more of a uh, more of a subject that's pertinent only in a nursing home setting, not the personal needs allowance is not as relevant in an assisted living facility.